The next four speakers are Mark Cohen, Tom Mesnick, Jacob Green, and Brian Vincent. Vincenti. Thank you. My name is Mark Cohen. I live in Councilman Nevitt's district. I'm not going to talk about the particulars of this ordinance because it's going to pass no matter what we say. But I want to talk about the mindset behind it. It seems that officials in this city regard demonstrators as guilty until proven innocent. Guilty of being criminals or terrorists or worse. Guilty, apparently, of planning to throw urine and feces at police officers. I mean, come on. How ridiculous is that? How can anybody take that seriously? We have challenged law enforcement to document any instance where that has actually happened. And they can't because, like my wife said, it's an urban myth. Just like the idea that there are large numbers of protesters coming here to do anything but peacefully express their views. The fact that people whose intelligence and common sense I've always respected take this nonsense seriously is a sad commentary. The demonstrators coming here are not criminals or terrorists or alien invaders. There's no need to call out Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. They're ordinary Americans who should be applauded for taking seriously their responsibility as members of a democratic society to participate in the political process. They should not be treated like members of an invading army because the people who will be demonstrating in the streets of Denver are as important a part of the political process as the people who will be inside the Pepsi Center, maybe more so. Why an ordinance like this? Is there a chance that a few isolated individuals may do something weird? Yeah, sure, there's a chance. But that does not justify draconian restrictions on the rights of tens of thousands of demonstrators who just want to peacefully express their views, nor does it justify publicly demonizing them and trying to scare people into thinking they're going to burn down the city or whatever. I'd ask you to remember the Constitution, the First Amendment, the Bill of Rights, democracy. That's what the demonstrators are all about. Council had a chance last year to pass a resolution that would welcome demonstrators the same way as delegates to the convention. It failed to do so. There's still time to show that one part of city government still respects the Bill of Rights. And after you pass this ridiculous ordinance, I hope you'll take the time to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Our next speaker is Tom Mesnick. Okay. My name is Tom Mesnick. I live on Capitol Hill, and I believe in strong laws to protect the public and the police. This bill has nothing to do with that. This bill is solely for propaganda purpose and a public relations coup to demonize protesters. So while you're going along your fantasy ordinance of banning things like feces bombs and urine-filled uh, squirt guns, I have a few other things that I think you should ban because I think you should ban things that sound really cool. So I think you should ban catapults. Here's a picture of a catapult here besieging the Pepsi Center. I think that would be a really cool to be able to have a press conference and say that the city of Denver uh, banned that. Along the same line, I have here a trebuchet. It's similar to a catapult, but it's three stories tall. And Doug, you'll be interested in this. This could fling a ball of poo that would be the size of a Volkswagen. So I don't think you should renege on your duties to ban the trebuchet. And once again, I think that would sound so awesome to be able to say, we have prevented the demonstrators from using the trebuchet. Here we have the Viking longboat, which you can see could be coming up to Cherry Creek, and it could be attacking the Cherry Creek Mall. That would be another great fantasy, since you're, you're dealing with fantasies, and, and this ordinance is completely ridiculous. Why don't you say we ban the Viking longboats? Now, I know what you're saying. The, the anarchists have a flag on this longboat, and so do the pirates. And you see that great, the pirates and the anarchists and the Vikings 
banding together. Surely that is outrageous, and you must prevent the Viking longboats. Other fantasy things we have here, hot air balloons. We have Phileas Fogg here dropping pink evil rabbits on the city of Denver. Now, if that is not banned, it must be. And here we have Glenn Spagnuolo dropping pink evil rabbits. Now, you might be saying, well, they're rabbits, Tom, but I couldn't really draw like trolls or rottweilers, so we had to go with the rabbits. But do not be deceived. These are very ill-tempered rabbits, and they must be banned. As long as we're dealing with fantasy and just making, pulling stuff out of our butt, and literally, we have poo that we're pulling out of our butts. So, another item, oh, we have is um, Star Wars. Fantasy items, you should ban Princess Leia, Lightsabers. Nice picture. This is the Millennium Falcon, which was actually much harder to draw than you'd think. But you don't need to ban Darth Vader because he, he's got a Secret Service earphone in here. Darth Vader is going to work with the Secret Service, so don't ban him. But please ban, you know, the Rebels, because we're the Rebels and, and you're the Empire, so you might want to uh, deal with that. And of course, this troublemaker must be banned. Yoda, he's the head rubble, so if you're dealing with fantasies, and here's the Death Star, as you can see it's zapping um, the governor's mansion and a Starbucks and the city council chambers, and it's, it's wiping out Charlie Brown's uh, brain I need over to here, have but you, you don't need a Death Star for that. I, I need to have you conclude. Like a, a, a moist towelette. <laughs> so, and lastly, we have Harry Potter's magic wand. It must be banned while we're dealing with ridiculous fantasy items because you, you could turn you all into toads. You could turn the police into toads. You could be turning uh, city council into toads, but then who would really notice, of course? So anyway, I say, ban the magic wand. Hey, ban the magic wand. Hey, ban the Excuse magic me. wand. Hey, thank you.